Hello everyone, today we're going to be opening and cleaning some KWA M4 magazines. Alright, and in order to clean these magazines, you are going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, decent size, not too big, not too small. Obviously, you're going to need your magazines. You need some silicone oil. I prefer this stuff called Super Lube. It was super, super cheap. Got it off of Airsoft GI and it's worked great so far. And then you're going to need some Q-tips. One quick little tidbit before we start. Um, I am not responsible for any damage you do to your magazines. Um, this is how I clean them. This is how it's worked for me. And there are probably also other ways to do this. This is just how I do it. So continue at your own risk. All right, enjoy the video. All right, so step one is going to be disassembling the magazine. So this is a regular M4 style magazine from KWA. It has a bottom plate here. This little guy pushes in and you're gonna go ahead and push it in, slide this butt plate off like that going to expose this bad boy here and then these KWA mags pop out from the top so you're just going to push down into the magazine and you're going to separate the outer shell from the actual magazine. All right and now that you have the magazine out of the shell you're going to see a side with a bunch of screws on it and a large panel and on the other side you're going to see a bunch of no screws and a little nub. What you're going to do is you're going to take this nub with the bottom side of the mag here you're going to take this nub push it towards the top of the magazine and down and out the other side. That's going to release this panel, which has the spring attached to it. So make sure to keep tension on this so the spring doesn't go flying. You might need a tool for this. In my case, I'm going to grab a screwdriver and I'm going to lightly and gently push this nub down towards the top of the magazine. And then the panel on the other side is going to separate. I'm going to grab it with my little fingernails that I have on either side and then put um, a finger on up here. I'm just going to take this out. You can already see the spring separating right there. It's come out and there we go. We're going to go ahead and take the spring all the way out of the magazine and you can see the follower. Oops, sorry for bumping the mic there. And you can see the follower up here. Okay, and now that we have the spring and follower assembly separated from the magazine, we're going to go ahead and put this off to the top here because now we're going to disassemble the magazine. To do this, we're going to need that same Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to go ahead and remove all four of these screws. All right, and now that the screws are unscrewed from the magazine, I'm actually gonna go ahead and try my best to leave them in here. And then you're gonna go ahead and lift the top off gently. And then you're gonna put it off to the side. Um, the reason you wanna do this very carefully is because here at the bottom, there are two springs that allow this bottom plate to push in, as well as there is the little, I don't know what the proper term for this is, but the little uh, BB catch here, and it also has a spring. You really don't want to have those go flying off. It's not the end of the world if they do, but it's just a pain in the butt to put them back in the magazine. All right, and here we have the two halves of the magazine. I did go ahead and take out those screws. They're all the same size, so don't worry about mixing any of those up. Um, I misspoke earlier. This is actually the follower. This will stay in the magazine, so we're also going to put that off to the side. Okay, so if this is the first time you're taking these mags apart, um, you're going to see some lubricant in here. Yeah, it might not be easy to pick up on camera, but you can see some shiny bits. That's a little bit of extra lubricant. I have opened these mags before, so that is from me, but you will also see that from the factory. Don't worry too much about that. Now, if you're like me, the reason that you're taking these mags apart is either for regular maintenance or because they just straight up stopped feeding. Now, this has happened to me before, and I fixed it by doing exactly this, taking them apart and cleaning them. So don't be surprised if you see some black specks of stuff in here, some dirt, some sand, just some particles of something. Um, for me, it looks like a lot of mine are up here. It's gonna be really hard to pick up on the camera, but I have a lot of stuff that was preventing my BBs from feeding. So we're gonna clean that out now. All right, and in order to clean this out, we are gonna go ahead and grab a Q-tip. If you don't have these, I don't know what you're doing. You should have these uh, in your house. They're fantastic. One of the best multi-tools that exists. So we're gonna go ahead and take one of these that's dry, nothing on it, it's clean, and we're gonna go ahead and run it through the channels of each side of the magazine. Once we've done that once or twice for each one, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and do it again. And you wanna be careful and uh, not hit any of these pieces with springs too hard, otherwise they'll go flying off. All right, let's go ahead and do it. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you are putting a little bit of force into it. You wanna hit every, both the left and the right side of the wall, as well as this, uh, you can see in here, there's a little extra track piece. You just wanna make sure you are cleaning all of that, as well as you wanna make sure you get up 
in, um, I don't actually know what this is, this part of the mag is called, but the part that actually goes into the gun, you wanna make sure that that part's nice and clean, but be careful because of that spring. You also don't wanna push too hard, otherwise these cotton, the, the cotton will kinda of come off of these and get stuck in the spring. So just be careful, you'll find the right balance. Once you're done with one half, you can go ahead and put it over to the other side. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch over to the other side of the Q-tip and do the other half. All right, and then after this, I would highly recommend uh, doing a visual inspection, taking these, looking at them up close, making sure that there's no little black or any colored um, little junk pieces in here. And if there are, go ahead and grab another Q-tip, or if the Q-tip you were just using is still relatively clean, go ahead and clean it out. Um, you can also check up in this part here, should be in focus, um, check up in here, make sure that everything is clean here. That's really important. And do the same on the other half of the magazine. All right, and once you're done cleaning these and you're happy with them, go ahead and grab a Q-tip. We're gonna go ahead and re-lube this magazine. You do need lube in a magazine. Um, it will stop working quicker if you don't. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna be using some super lube. This stuff was super cheap off of Airsoft GI. I don't know if it's good quality or not, but it did work and uh, these mags were still lubricated about a year after I did this last. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and this stuff is super potent. So just a little drop on the end of the Q-tip here. And we're just gonna take that the exact same route we took to clean these. All right, you're just going to take a little tiny drop or two. Just wanna saturate that end of the Q-tip and that's enough, trust me. All right, and then we're gonna run this through the track. Make sure when you're running this through the track, you're twisting it, you're making sure that you evenly lubricate everything here. Once you're done with one half, you're gonna take the other end of the Q-tip, go ahead and saturate it, and do the other half of the magazine. All right, and once you're done re-lubricating these magazines, you're gonna go ahead and take that follower. This follower is curved, you can see that. It also has a thick end and a thin end. What you're gonna do is flip this to the side like this, all right, a little editor's note here. You wanna make sure that the thin end is pointing to the right in this video. You wanna make sure that the thin end is the end that the BBs will touch and the thick end is the end that the spring will touch. You're gonna to have it curved as if it's a smiley face or the bottom of a circle. You're gonna go ahead and rest that in the track of the magazine. You'll see that it slides along the track this way all the way around the magazine and that's why it has to go in that direction. All right, and after we put the follower back in our magazine, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and close this back up and screw it back together. Do one last visual inspection, make sure you didn't miss anything. If you did, just go back and follow the steps that you just did. All right, I'm happy with the way these turned out. Let's go ahead and close this one up. To close it up, it's just like opening it up. You're just gonna take the side that has no springs, no anything like that. You're gonna go ahead and gently put that back on top of the other half of the magazine, like so. Might take a little bit of finagling, once you have that, again, be gentle with all this. You don't want any of those springs to go anywhere. You're gonna go ahead and put these four screws back in. You don't wanna to torque any of these screws down super hard. Once they're in, as long as the magazine stays together, that's good enough. All right, and now that we're done with the magazine cleaning itself, let's go ahead and focus on the spring. We're gonna set this aside and bring this spring back in. So the spring has three parts you have this little clip part down here, you have this little nub that pushes all of those BBs around, and then you have the spring itself. In my experience, the spring is almost never the cause of any issue. However, if your spring is broken, um, extended or compressed or something, and it's not right, you can get replacements um, from, straight from KWA, and I think that's true for almost all M4 magazines. All right, in my case here, my spring looks just fine. Everything's still in one piece. The spacing looks correct to me. So now is probably the most difficult part other than opening up the magazine. All right, and now for the trickiest and most difficult part of this entire disassembly and reassembly, putting the spring back in the magazine. So what you're gonna do is you want to make sure your little nub is on the end of the spring and that it, the spring is threaded onto this little guide piece here. Um, all you're gonna do 
is you're going to compress the spring onto this guide, hold it until the entire spring is on here. Now, when you're doing this, um, you wanna make sure you have your reassembled magazine ready to go with the big slot facing up. And you also want to make sure that this guide, this little flat bit here, is facing upwards. That way it's super easy to reinsert this into the magazine. You're also going to need a fresh Q-tip, hasn't been used yet. You're gonna go ahead and soak it in some lubricant because we're gonna go ahead and lubricate the spring once it's on here. You can go a bit heavier on the lube for the spring than you did for the magazine. You also wanna make sure that when you do that, you put it down on a clean surface. All right, this part, you just gotta be patient. If it explodes on you, don't worry, be patient, untangle the spring, don't hurt it, and try again. All right, so now that it's mostly back on this guide, you have to be really careful. You're gonna go ahead and take your Q-tip and lubricate your spring. Both sides, this is gonna be hard to see, I apologize. You wanna make sure that you don't get too much cotton stuck in here. All right, now, for the most complicated part, putting this back in. So this little nub here, you're gonna put in to the magazine. This little part has a little tiny clip right here. That's gonna fit underneath this. You're gonna go ahead and insert this uh, guide in and you wanna bend it a little bit. See how it bends? You're gonna bend it so that you can clip this backside in. This is the nub on the other side of the magazine that we pushed out before. You're gonna go ahead and clip the bottom part of that in, and you can go ahead and that, at this point, let go of the spring. That's okay. Just make sure that the spring doesn't double back on itself in here. So you're gonna go ahead and clip this front part of the guide into there. You're gonna hear a little click. This part, you're gonna wanna have out at an angle and you're gonna wanna push this bottom piece in until it bends into place. This part does require a bit of force. You can see how much that's bending, but once you get it, clicks back in. This is flush, this nub is back, and it's flush. And you should see in the top of the magazine, you can see the follower. All right, and all we have to do now is grab the outer shell, push it back in from the bottom, and see what it looks like at the top. And you're gonna grab the butt plate, push down on uh, this little spring button right here. Boom, and your KWA M4 magazine is ready to go. If you guys enjoyed this video on how to clean your KWA M4 magazines, I'd really appreciate it if you left me a like, as well as a comment, and maybe if you wanna see my future content or really enjoyed the video, then uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.